Registered Phenomena Code 074 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Extreme Temperature Hazard Organic Hazard Sapient Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-074 is to be contained in a magnetically locked standard containment cell within Site-007. Two security personnel must be stationed outside the cell and shifts are to change every six hours. Security operatives are required to be in groups of four and recontain RPC-074 in the event of a containment breach. Should RPC-074 become defensively hostile, operatives must find cover. Description. RPC-074 is a humanoid entity with snowy white skin pigmentation. The anomaly is mute and is unable to communicate vocally. Facial features cannot be determined as the anomaly is always covered by a mask. When personnel attempted to lift the mask, they were struck with intense wind and snow emanating from the anomaly. Temperatures within the room instantly dropped to negative 123 degrees Celsius, causing severe frostbite and other deliberating effects. RPC-074 exhibits strength and durability well in excess of normal human limits and is immune to any sedative effects administered. The entity can also move through or between snow and ice at will, and has been observed to face into or rise out of patches of snow or ice suddenly, and with little warning. RPC-074 leaves no tracks or traces of its presence behind. While RPC-074 has been observed to be less active during daylight, it has attempted several times to escape from the containment cell at nightfall. RPC-074 was discovered during the midst of the Winter War. Visual reports of RPC-074 stemmed from Finnish soldiers during the Battle of Kola, but no one could properly identify it. The entity has also displayed high resilience and survivability witnessed by containment operatives. They observed the entity evading carpet bombing through its phasing ability and having survived an explosive 7.62x54R without any indication of damage. There had been no report of any entity matching the description of RPC-074 prior to the Winter War, though there had been previous accounts of folk talk from delirious injured Finnish hunters being rescued by a pale man in a mask, dressed in white camouflage. It is uncertain if these reports have any correlation to RPC-074. While tracking RPC-074, operatives noted unusual habits as displayed throughout the course of the war. Although there is no indication of the anomaly showing emotions, RPC-074 does express aggression and morbid humor. These behaviors indicate a personality present. Several frozen corpses of Red Army troops that fell by sniper fire were posed as signposts. The names of the towns, those destroyed by carpet bombing or burned during the Red Army's advances, were written in paper and found in the grip of the Soviets pointing in the direction of said towns. The Finnish were not responsible for these incidents, but claimed it was their doing nonetheless. Some of the militiamen interviewed by authority operatives reported a lone Finnish soldier vanishing into the snow shortly after posing the corpses. In some of these cases, ears and teeth and fingers were missing from the frozen carcasses. These actions resulted in the Finnish naming the enigmatic sniper as the White Death. Agent an RPC operative of the Finnish Authority branch was integrated into the Finnish Army as a cover operative to replace the entity while containment teams worked behind the conflict to contain RPC-074. Given own successful hunting and rifle expertise and the widespread support for the White Death, operated within the White Guard 6 Company of JR-34 as a sniper to cover RPC-074's presence. Reports of the anomaly's activities have been fabricated to better fit Agent into the role. Addendum 074-A RPC-074 sapiens calls into question its understanding of human concepts and behavior patterns. It has shown an understanding of demoralization and psychological warfare such as butchering corpses of their ears, fingers, and teeth as trophies and posing said corpses as stated previously. While the anomaly has been observed to be dispassionate and cold, it has shown no signs of cruelty or malice. RPC-074 prefers to kill in a clean and proficient manner, removing targets as quickly as possible before butchering. 
RPC-074 was not observed to attack or harm any non-Soviet personnel during its time in operation, though MST operatives were considerably injured during close combat with the anomaly. Despite its cold proficient killing and brutal defense techniques, RPC-074 shows elements of compassion and empathy. Finnish troops that were recovered after being declared MIA claim to have been rescued and medically attended to by a masked figure. Many who made these reports were said to be hallucinating due to pain and hypothermia, though these reports do not contradict each other and all share the same descriptions of the anomaly. Recovery Log 074-A On February 10, 1940, a temporary MST squad of 12 operatives were deployed during the Battle of Kola to recover RPC-074, 0300 hours before the Red Army launched their assault. Each member of the MST squad were equipped with experimental body cameras to record their movements. Recovery Log Recordings This is Captain Ringo. All units in position? This is Baxter. I'm in position. I'm seven meters up and hanging. Don't see anything yet, over. Candy here. In position and watching the banks. Artillery fire and carpet bombings increased considerably, and they're definitely aimed in your direction. I recommend you proceed with caution, over. Me and three other guys are already up ahead. We'll radio in when we make contact, over. Remember, do not separate and stay behind cover. I don't want it picking us off, over. Cap, he can pop up anywhere without a given notice. How the hell are we going to find him without losing our heads? Keep your heads down. That's about all I can say. Be glad you're not wearing red. With all due respect, Captain, fuck off. Over. Just follow the sound of sniper fire and you'll be able to spot him. That's easier said than done, sir. Every time you look, there's always some- <laughs> This is Stones. The target has engaged. Any casualties? No, sir. He's not shooting at us. Looks like a sniper duel with him and the Reds. Stay out of their line of sight. I'm more worried about the fucking entity than I am about the Russians. I'm seeing bodies falling on the other side of the river. Is that the White Death? Baxter, tell me you see anything. I'm looking, but I can't find where the source of it came from. The Reds aren't making it easy for us. Where the hell is it? Not picking up anything on my sc- Shit! I found the entity. He just came up from one of the branches. You mean he was hiding on a branch? No, he just came right out from the fucking branch. Be alert. He can phase in and out of the snow. Baxter, you are clear to take the shot. Baxter takes aim and fires at RPC-074. The entity does not react. I hit the target. He didn't even flinch. Hell, I don't think he even moved his head. Baxter changed your rounds. Baxter's camera shows RPC-074 finally turning to face Baxter as he begins to change his ammunition. Fuck, wait. I think he's looking right at me. Where? Where is he? In the fucking trees, where else? The anomaly takes aim at Baxter. A shot rang out and Baxter is hit in the shoulders. The sniper yelled out in pain and dropped his rifle. God damn it! I'm hit! Recording shows RPC-074 dropping from the branch and lands on the ground. Target is on foot. Repeat. Target is on foot heading northeast. Baxter, I want you to pull out now. James, Stones, converge on the anomaly's location. You are weapon-free. I say again, weapons-free. Captain, I thought we were supposed to catch the goddamn thing. Subject is believed to show high resiliency to weapons damage. The best we can do is overwhelm it to contain it. Roger, Captain. We're making our way now. Just be here when- RPC-074 appears before Stones in the recording and proceeds to physically assault him, dislocating his left shoulder. Stones was unable to properly defend himself from the sudden appearance and was knocked unconscious after a blow to the head. Stones' men turn to engage with 074. Each unit shows the recording of RPC-074 engaging with 10 before disappearing into the snow as to avoid Corporal Lawrence's counter. Captain Ringo, we've engaged a target. 10 and Stones are down. Captain, I'm seeing a group of Reds coming from the banks. They aren't supposed to advance yet. I don't know, but they have an anti-tank rifle with them. Lawrence, evacuate your men and… Captain Ringo, we've engaged a target. Ten and stones are down. 
Candy's recording shows the Red Army's advancement once more. Captain, I'm seeing a group of Reds coming from the banks. They aren't supposed to have advanced yet. Why are they attacking now? I don't know, but they have an anti-tank rifle with them. Lawrence, evacuate your men and… Captain Ringo lets out a sharp cry as he was attacked from behind. Body cam shows from one of the operatives that RPC-074 had emerged directly behind the captain, twisting his arm. The other operatives yelled out, guns aimed at the entity, calling for it to drop the captain. It got the captain! Guys, the Reds have a mark on your position. RPC-074 angled his body around and threw Captain Ringo aside. With the captain out of harm's way, the operatives opened fire on the entity as it proceeded to attack the remaining operatives. We can't hurt it! We're fucking dropping over here! Switch to heavy rounds. Detain the entity. We can't let it get away. Did you hear what I fucking said? RPC-074 rushed towards Operative James, who was fumbling with the rifle in his hand. The entity leg-swept the operative and felled him to the ground. With the other operatives incapacitated, the entity attempted to retreat before being struck in the side of the head of its face by an anti-tank round. Holy shit! Captain! Captain, are you alright? God damn it! Captain's fine, but he's down. The red struck the entity. Bind the motherfucker before it regains consciousness. End log. Addendum 074B Several items were retrieved during RPC-074's initial recovery. However, a written scrap of paper was not found on the entity during containment processing. A broken M-28-30 rifle. A Suomi KP-31 submachine gun. Bracelets are made of human teeth, fingers, and ears. One Finnish Army survival pack equipped with rifle ammunition and medical supplies and one scrap of paper unaccounted for during initial containment. The scrap, written in Finnish, reads as follows. Talvi Harata, 